And we are live. Yes. Uh, how's it going, everybody? It's Shockwave984. Uh, uh, it's going to be my uh, movie rankings uh, list for the entire Terminator franchise. And uh, so I'm going to go ahead and unbox uh, everything that we have because there are some newer additions uh, that I've picked up uh, since I did the, the two part, the two separate part uh, videos for our uh, Terminator collection. All right, so before I get to the rankings, I'm going to just unbox and, and uh, show everything first. And then uh, uh, possibly just kind of, you know, talk about each movie individually. So first up, we have the original. Original classic film of Terminator. And it's actually kind of bright. So let me uh, fix the lighting real quick. All right, that's better. Okay. All right, so let's start out with the uh, DVD. So this is the uh, special edition. is an older uh, release for it. There are many other ones. All right, and then here's the back of it. For all the special features. So with the first film, mostly uh, when it comes to like uh, like Blu-ray editions and stuff, there's something about the original, um, what was it? I believe the mono track. And that is in here. Yeah, the original mono uh, soundtrack. You get a bunch of special features. There's some screenshots. All right. And... Hey guys, how's it going? So yeah, it is one of those kind of discs. And then that's the booklet. It's kind of clear. No artwork on it. And here's the uh, one of the Blu-rays uh, that we have. There's uh, they got a bunch of different ones. Terminator in general, uh, pretty much all the movies have many different releases. Whether it be like a Steelbook, Digipack, Digibook. Uh, you know, Region 2 different editions from other countries. Uh, not just re Region 2, but just all different regions. So you get some special features right here. All right. For this uh, particular Blu-ray, uh, it's actually really good. Uh, movie looks good and sounds great. All right. So there is that one. Uh, the original film, you know, classic. Really, really good. You have Arnold Schwarzenegger. You have uh, Michael Bean. Uh, you you have uh, Linda Hamilton. It's a really, really good cast. This is another new edition uh, that I found. Uh, this is the uh, the Terminator in a digi book. And I actually found this brand new. Uh, it was only about I think like 10, 12 bucks. Now the disc uh, shows that it has a Terminator face on it. That's actually not what it looks like. <laughs> So, yeah, it's kind of deceiving. But this is cool. You get, like, a little booklet. It has, like, pages and stuff on it. And then you take the paper off. And there you have Arnold. Looking really cool with the shades on and stuff. All right. And then we'll just open it up. So, yeah, here's the disc. Yeah, it looks like that. It's kind of weird. Uh, this is Blu-ray. Yeah, the feature is not set, as it says right there. Got some good lighting today, so hopefully everything's coming out nice and clear. Yeah, there you see James Cameron. Working with Arnold there. Come with me if you want to live. That's that classic line. Yeah, the original film was just awesome. The uh, the effects work that they did, a lot of practical stuff, uh, especially with the uh, the endoskeleton, especially when you get to see it in its entirety, you know, without the, the skin on it. Just really, really cool. They see Linda Hamilton. And there's that scene. The mirror, and there's... There's the endoskeleton. Yeah. Really, really awesome. And he gets like some uh, little info. There's a picture of Kyle Reese. 
All right. So that does it for the original movie. All right. And next up is T2. So look at a couple of the uh, DVD editions. Now, I did do two separate videos on our Terminator collection that we had uh, so far. Uh, so I will put links in the description below for that. For those. So first up is the Artisan uh, Extreme DVD. This is more like the paper kind of case. Uh, I believe there is an actual metal one. And there's the front of it. And there's the back of it. So you have a bunch of features here. Then you have another set of features on the bottom here. So you get quite a bit. You have many, many different releases. Uh, for the first film, this one, especially T2. There's a lot of different ones. And also it was kind of um, was kind of fun, but also kind of uh, maybe kind of an annoyance is that some features are on some releases and others aren't. Yeah, so it's kind of like, you know, trying to find everything. So there's the disc. That was one. Here is two. And quality does vary, too. Uh, you know, some versions look way better than others, especially when it comes to the... Um, uh, well, actually, both DVD and Blu-ray. This is the Ultimate Edition uh, DVD. This was a real big release when it came out. You see the T-1000 right here. And there's all the different stuff you get. There's actually... I think it's this one where there's like a hidden part in the menu and you find other extras. There you see Arnold, there you see the red eye right there. And same picture. There's your booklet. That's the first disc or side one as it says. And then here is side two. Oh, that classic scene. Tears flowing when that happened. Uh, the end of the when they, after they beat the T-1000 and, you know, the thumbs up. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, so now on to the Blu-rays. So we have, here is T-2. This is one of the basic uh, regular editions. There is like a, uh, I think a VHS type uh, slipcover for it. Uh, there's one for the Predator. Uh, there's a bunch of older films. It was part of a set of uh, releases. So if I find that one, I might pick it up. Here's all the special features. Now, also with T2 is that there are three cuts. So you have the theatrical, I think it's a special, and then I think extended edition. Yeah. Here's the desk. Uh, this particular Blu-ray looks really, really good and sounds great, too. It has a really good soundtrack. Uh, you know, listen to this, uh, uh, like a, one scene for it, all the chase scenes, uh, when he uses a minigun, <laughs> you know, on the, uh, you know, uh, scaring off the, the, uh, officers and stuff. That sounded really great. Awesome, awesome job with this Blu-ray. And here's another one. So I think this one came out before the last one I just showed, which is the Skynet edition. So this is one of the new ones that I picked up. Uh, for real cheap, this is left over from a sticker. Found with the slick cover. You can find this really cheap. I uh, found it for, I think, like $4. Yeah. And I think it was, I'm trying to remember if it was this one, where you actually get, there was a big release for, I think it was T2. Oh, no, it was a 4K edition where you get, like, the arm of the uh, Terminator, the T800. Yeah. Here's the special feature. So this was a really big release. You have a picture in picture, storyboard, script, uh, mode. Uh, you have quizzes, games. Yeah, this one had a lot of stuff. But also, T2 had uh, quite a bit of an issue with uh, as far as like the image quality. Now this one looks pretty good. Definitely like this one. Uh, the Skynet edition also looks pretty good. Um, but yet you can tell the difference per release. Like some just looks it, 
like some of the characters look kind of waxy in a way. Like they look very like it's not natural looking, like the skin tones and stuff. Uh, yeah, like maybe some of the coloring is off. Yeah, so that's kind of the thing with T two in some of these films. Well, especially I think it's mostly with T two because uh, T one looks fine uh, for the most part. And uh, yeah, all right. So that's the Skynet edition. Okay, and there are many, many extras on this one. So if you're looking for that, this is a really good release to have. Uh, some of them, if not all of them, I think are just recycled. That's also kind of a thing, too. We don't really get a lot of new special features. And here is the 4K edition for Terminator 2 Judgment Day. Uh, this one is uh, definitely has a different look. And I actually went in... And change some stuff. Like there's the scene where uh, it's that chase on the motorcycle where Arnold's trying to catch up to John and the, uh, the T-1000's in that truck. And he, there's a scene where, uh, the, the well, the stuntman grabs uh, John off his uh, motorbike. And you can clearly tell, like, even when the explosion happens, uh, you can tell it's not Arnold. You can tell it's a stuntman. They actually went in and changed that. Uh, I believe the coloring is also different. Like it had blue, but now it's got like a, uh, what's the color? Because uh, I think Cameron's done it with other movies or just a cinematographer. I think it's like a greenish kind of tone now. Uh, but the regular Blu-ray looks good. Uh, so yeah, the 4K definitely could be hit and miss. I mean, it looks fine overall. So extras, you get quite a bit. Also, another reason to get this is that you get a 65, or no, 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 55-minute documentary, including inter exclusive interviews with Arnold, James Cameron, uh, Edward Furlong, and more. So that's kind of like another reason to get this, that special feature, because I don't think it's on any other release. Yeah, I think that's a new documentary that they filmed uh, for this one. Which is really cool. All right, so on the left, you have the regular Blu-ray. On the right, you have the 4K. So yeah, I think for the most part, the 4K looks fine. But yeah, it definitely has like kind of like a different look and feel. Soundtrack uh, sounds good though. Sounds really good. So this you can get really cheap, even brand new. You can get this for I've seen it on sale for oh man, uh, what was it like? 12 bucks, $10, if not lower. Um, and then, yeah, I found this used for about $8. So, <laughs> yeah. Because there's really not much to this, mostly besides a documentary. And I think the other extras are just recycled. So, yeah. All right. Okay, so that does it for T2. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of different releases. All right. So, now let's get to... These next, this next one. So here is Terminator 3, Rise of the, of the Machines. So you have T1 that came out, did its thing. And you have T2, you know, years later. And then this got announced. This is a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So a bunch of these you've gotten uh, used. Some of them I have gotten new. So yeah, Rise of the Machines, I remember when this was announced, it was everywhere. Uh, you know, uh, Arnold was coming back to play the Terminator. Um, there was a thing as to wondering as to whether, uh, you know, Linda Hamilton was coming back or Edward Furlong. Uh, there is, they are not in here. Uh, you have a bunch of extras. You have an HBO First Look documentary. I remember watching that. You have Introduction by uh, Arnold which was fun. A bunch of other extras, featurettes. All right. And yeah, this one uh, definitely added and kind of changed some things too. Uh, this definitely plays more, I would say, more comedic kind of in a way, especially with the way it starts. It's kind of comedic. <laughs> uh, effects look all right. On the left, you have the DVD. On the right, you have the Blu-ray. Uh, by the way, the Blu-ray looks fine. Looks good. Uh, sounds good. DVD is okay. Um, I'm not sure if... 
this has a uh, like a UHD release. So out of all these movies, I think the only ones that have 4Ks are T2 and Dark Fate. And I think that's it. Oh, no, 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 no. Genesis has one. Um, but the original film and Rise of the Machines and Salvation don't have one as of yet, as far as I know. Uh, but this one you can also find really cheap. Found it for like five bucks. And T3, I think overall, it's cool. You know, it's different. It definitely added and changed itself, especially with uh, Judgment Day. There's a real big deal about that because uh, it, you know, it's like, you're, wait, wait, you're trying to stop Judgment Day again? Like, wait, what happened? I thought that was already done. Uh, you know, and yeah, they definitely did some th things. Uh, you have the Terminate Tricks, and she is awesome, the TX. <laughs> that was cool. Uh, has built in like weaponry and stuff. So that was different. Uh, Arnold and uh, you know the TX battle it out, and uh, you you do have John Connor, so he is in here. Uh, I believe Linda Hamilton's uh, Sarah Connor is mentioned. Yeah, I think there was like a picture and stuff too. So T three, uh, you know, I thought overall pretty good. Just you know, different. All right, and the next one. Terminator Salvation. This is the director's cut. So this one, after T3 came out, because, uh, you know, I was wondering, okay, is there going to be another one? Or Because I think these were pretty far apart, I think, when they came out. You get this nice rainbow effect. Here you see the Terminator right there. Also found this really cheap, just for a few dollars. That picture right here with the Terminator face in like the city, that's actually a steel plug. Uh, I think it's like a, uh, I think it's a European one. Yeah. So you get the, or excuse me, you get the director's cut and the theatrical version as well. Uh, you also have uh, exclusive features via Blu-ray disc live and maximum movie mode, which is cool. The director, you know, takes you through it. Here's a regular special features right here. So yeah, there might be a little bit of delay while I'm moving. <laughs> I seem to notice that when I do the live streams. All right. So here's underneath. And then, so the digital copy is one of those where it's an actual disc. So it's right here. But this, is, uh, this has been out for years now. All right. So on the left, you have the director's cut. And then on the right, you have the theatrical and special special uh special features so yeah they are separated yeah it's not all on one disc so yeah you can either pop in either version but one has the special features on it so salvation this was really cool i really like how they changed it up so this you actually get to see the future war you have an older uh john connor uh played by uh oh my gosh he, he played the dark knight Christian Bale, there you go. <laughs> I apologize about that. Uh, actually, a pretty good cast. Um, and so you follow this guy. He wakes up. He apparently was a prisoner. Uh, and he just, you know, future war is happening. Uh, he wakes up from being out and doesn't know what's going on. He meets John Connor. And then something about him in general gets revealed. And then, you know, this whole thing with Skynet. Uh, does Kyle Reese make an appearance? Uh, yes, he does. Uh, you also have uh, just, a, just a lot of stuff. You know, people are wondering, is John Connor like the true hero? Because there's like rumors that he's going to be, you know, the next hero. Or, or the one to lead the resistance and stuff. Because he's not really doing that at the start. He's kind of just like around. Or, or no, he is, but there's a lot of doubt. Uh, but, uh, action in this was pretty good. Really like how they just, they just took a chance with this. It's something different. You know, the future war Because ever since we saw parts of that from the original film and even in T2, the, the, the segments that we saw, they were really cool. I believe there was like an actual like theme park type event that was filmed. Uh, I think there was an actual like thing, like a show that you can go to, uh, I think it was at Disneyland or something or um, maybe Six Flags. Uh, but yeah, Salvation, really cool for what they did. Uh, you know, some names may not look very good today, 
uh, you know, older films, same with T3, even the first two. Uh, but some hold up better than others. I think this one's okay. And uh, yeah, Salvation, I thought was really good. All right, so now we're on to the next one, which is the big, big, uh, I believe it's supposed to be a reboot of the series, Terminator Genesis. So this is the regular uh, Blu-ray steelbook. I found this later after getting the uh, 4K edition. All right. This is fine. Here's the back. You see Sarah Connor, played by Amelia Clark. And yes, Arnold is in here as well. That was a big reveal as to who that was. And the trailer for this really... I didn't see the trailer for this, luckily. Luckily, uh, I just went and saw it. There you see uh, Kyle Reese right there. That's the inside. And then here's the front and back. It's really cool. The Terminator eyes, I think, actually light up a little bit. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah, the trailer for this actually gave away a lot of stuff. From her, uh, hearing about that, like just checking it out after because uh, people were talking about it. And yeah, they show like a big reveal. It was kind of weird. Uh, so that's the regular uh, Blu-ray. Now there is something with this edition or just the regular ones in general I'll get to in a second. It does include the 3D edition as well. It applies to this. This looks pretty cool. It's like a, you know, like the sand. Or nano machines, and the three D edition um doesn't look too bad. It looks good. Here's the story details, and then here are some screenshots, and then here are these special features. Now there are others that are not on here. Um, this is one of those releases where they had different editions or. Most of the special features, like all of them, were put on a certain one, and you had to get that one. Um, I don't think they were spread out. It was just all on one specific one, so you had to get that one in order to have everything. So that was a 3D disc. Here's the regular Blu-ray, and then here's the DVD. You guys might hear an ice cream truck. <laughs> Throw me a popsicle. <laughs> like, it's hot out, but it's not that hot out. <laughs> All right. Okay. You think we might get Mandalorian on Blu-ray near future? Hey, War Effect. Or you think Disney might want people to subscribe without any home? Ooh, that's a good question. <sighs> yeah, because Season 1 hasn't even been released yet. Uh, oh, man. I hope they don't do that. I hope they... I hope that we get a home release for all of the show because uh, that would be great because I don't think they're even – or wait. We haven't even gotten a home release for, I think, the last season of Clone Wars either, right? Because didn't that finish? Yeah, I think it did. Yeah, it's really weird. So here is the 4K edition for Terminator Genesis. So this is the one that you had to get in order to get all the special features because as far as I know – Greedy Dizzy for sure. Yeah, it's I I hope we get a home release, man. I, I really, really hope so. Alright, so here's the front cover. There's one side. There's the other. Here's the back. So you get additional featurettes that are not listed on the basic release. So yeah, uh it's a 4K worth it. It looks good. Looks great, sounds great. Uh, so it's a really good addition. So yeah, I would, you know, recommend picking this up. Uh, you know, cover looks awesome. I just happened to find this randomly after like, what, a couple of days after I looked up the info on this. <laughs> so yeah, luckily found it with the cover. It was brand new, uh, but luckily it was on a bit of a sale. So it wasn't, you know, too bad. I didn't get my popsicle, man. <laughs> All right, so here's the uh, 4K disc. 
Here is the, uh, okay, so that's the regular Blu-ray. And then here's the one. It doesn't say bonus disc. It just says uh, special features. So, yeah. I know, right? <laughs> like, just take a break. It is like, all right, guys, I'll be right back. I got to get my popsicle. Hold on. <laughs> all right. Okay. So that does it for Genesis. Uh, this was a really big deal when this came out. Um, Genesis, uh, it was the big reboot. Uh, you had Arnold coming back. Uh, Linda Hamilton, uh, I believe she just gets mentioned uh, once again. Uh, she wouldn't really reappear pretty much until uh, Dark Fate. Um, this one is very... It's cool. Uh, really is. The effects are nice. Uh, you get uh, another kind of new Terminator. Uh, as with the case with uh, pretty much all the films, you get like a different different version, a newer one, a uh, new kind of villain. Um, Arnold's great. Uh, Amelia Clark, I think she did did pretty good too. Uh, cast is fine. Um, I think it's just some story bits where it it's kind of maybe doing too much. Uh, you also have uh, the thing where they pretty much just reenact the first part of the original film, pretty much. Uh, you have uh, CG Arnold. Uh, he, he actually looks pretty good. Uh, I think it still holds up. He looks fine. And you have, you know, the actual one. So it's like this guy faces off with the first one that we see. Because, uh, you know, timelines, they go back and forth. And, uh, yeah, so what this does to the series, you know, it, it does a lot. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I think overall it's okay. But, yeah, there are some things with the story that were kind of like, well, wait, wait, wait. So that timeline, wait, what happened to that one? <laughs> and the villain, it's like, whoa, wait a second, that's a villain? Yeah. But Genesis, you know, it's all right. Okay, so now last up, as far as the movies go, at least for now, Terminator Dark Fate. So this is the 4K uh, steelbook. I do have the backing for it, so give me a second. So this, uh, you know, after uh, Genesis, like, uh, quite a bit of time has passed uh, once that movie came out. And then this got announced. Here's the 4K disc. And in the back, you have the uh, regular Blu-ray. And as far as I know, um, just this one and the regular one share the same special features. I don't think uh, you have to get like another specific edition with um, like with uh, Genesis. I think even with the regular Blu-ray, you're fine. So on the inside here, here you have like that liquid or I guess maybe nano tech. I think it's more like liquid that comes off the the Rev-9 to form the skin and stuff. All right. Okay, and then here is the backing. And here you have Linda, Ham bleh, Linda Hamilton <laughs> and uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger uh, back once again. Awesome, awesome duo. They had her say some things in here. It was kind of like, wait, what? <laughs> So Dark Fate, here's the special features uh, right here. Yeah, over an hour of bonus content. So it's it's quite a bit, but might not be as much as it seems. Yeah. So Dark Fate, uh, this was a huge, huge announcement. Uh, you had uh, the director of Deadpool, uh, I believe it's uh, Tim Miller, I think it was, yeah. Uh, and you also had James, now James Cameron, I think is... He didn't direct it, but I think he's credited with story. I think he has a screenplay uh, credit to it. It was either this or Genesis. I think it was this one, too, where he did, like, interviews about it and stuff, or it might have been Genesis. Uh, but, yeah, this was a real big deal. And, uh, you know, Edward Furlong was stated. Uh, you have a favorite Blu-ray distributor, such as Disco Tech Era, Disneyland Show. Oh! Uh, oh man, Criterion's good. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me see. 
Um, let's see. Disco Disco Tech is good. Arrow's great. Uh, let's see. This is all I says L two Arrow. Oh yeah, yeah. Arrow, yeah. Arrow's really good. I have a couple of their releases. I gotta get more of those because they're. Excuse me, they're really, really nice. Uh, okay, so Dark Fate, yeah. This was interesting um, because he also had the big news that Edward Furlong was coming back. And is he in here? Well, in the beginning. <laughs> and then you see what happens and it's like, whoa. And then maybe a video for another time. Yeah, I think I'll, that's actually a consideration. Yeah, maybe I'll do uh, something like that. Favorite distributors and stuff. Yeah, I got a bunch of ideas floating around. <laughs> uh, and yeah, Dark Fate. Uh, so once you get through the beginning, you see, uh, you know, Sarah Connor, John, Arnold, who does appear. <laughs> and eventually, it, you know, something happens. And then you get our new uh, characters. You have Danny uh, uh, it's in Ramos, uh, her brother, her father. And you have the Rev-9, which is this guy. It's pretty much the disguise that he takes throughout the whole film. Uh, I believe he does take a couple of other forms. Not a heck of a lot. Um, and the Rev-9 is pretty interesting. So what you have is the skin like, can come off. or Yeah, it can come off the, the metal body and then just uh, you know form like an extra one. It's really cool. It's like a, I think it's stored in like the head because there's like a gap. So yeah, you have another interesting, you know, uh, machine. Because unfortunately, this is not, um, you know, it's Skynet here. Not what it seems like. <laughs> uh, you know, Dark Fate. Uh, definitely added and changed some stuff, too. Because I believe this is supposed to take place after the second film. So it ignores Rise of the Machines, Salvation, and Genesis. So you only have the original one, T2, and then this. Unless it, no, I think it ignores T2. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's after T2. Because uh, uh, Sarah Connors, because John is like, you know, growing up. and John is around. So yeah, this was pretty all right. You know, actions, good. Uh, excuse me, good. Uh, story, yeah, definitely hit and miss. Uh, the actors and actresses, uh, I thought they were good. I thought the cast was fine. Uh, you do have a enhanced uh, human is more like the uh, guardian this time. So kind of like the Kyle Reese. Uh, she's pretty good. Um, and yeah, I just think the effects are all right. So yeah, Dark Fate was pretty interesting. So curious to see as to whether they're going to continue from this or do something else. Uh, but yeah, I believe there's actually comics based on this too. So Dark Fate. Uh, we just have uh, this edition. All right, so that does it for all of the movies. So next up is the TV show, the Sarah Connor uh, Chronicles. So this is the first season on DVD. This is a still book I found for really cheap. It's actually really nice. It's got this nice glossy. Uh, kind of look to it. Here is the back. So here you have uh, Lena Headley uh, from uh, 300. She is Cersei from Game of Thrones. And a bunch of other people I recognize too. So like, yeah. So here is the special features. You get quite a bit. Here's the story details here. All right. And then here's the inside. Here are the disc. You also get a booklet with an episode guide. And here they all are. Looks really good. So this was uh, out during... Oh, man. I'm trying to remember. Was it during T3? I think it was. All right. Let me get all the disc out. Yeah, I'm trying to remember when this aired because uh, I caught it. Like, randomly. I think it changed times quite a bit. So there's the inside. Looks pretty cool. All right. So, yeah, the Sarah Connor Chronicles. Uh, so this is a live-action show. It has two seasons. And I want to say that it got canceled, I think. 
yeah. Or it it did finish and then just never got a um, never got a uh, third season. Well, the concept of this is actually pretty cool. So you have these um, you know Terminators and stuff uh, that are you know in the present. You have uh, Sarah Connor. You do have John, and then you have uh, this lady here. It's a Terminator. And pretty much, like, the the plan is, like, to set up, pretty much, for Judgment Day. Uh, you have the... Oh, motorcycle. Turn that down. <laughs> uh, here's the regular Blu-ray for it. By the way, Blu-ray looks good. It looks really nice. It's a nice rainbow cover. All right. Here's the special features are pretty much the same as the DVD. And so the concept is that the Terminators are trying to, like they have different missions and stuff. And turn it correctly, is that they're, it's like they're planning for Judgment Day pretty much as if they're, you know, getting it set up secretly. And, you know, uh, you know, Sarah and them catch on and try and stop them. And there's also things with time travel in here because they do go to, like, you know, the future, back and forth. So you do have that concept. The Terminators look okay. You do have practical effects along with, uh, you know, some CG and stuff like that. So, yeah, the effects for the time were okay. Uh, but you, you could definitely tell, you know, it's like a TV show type budget. Uh, but still, for what they did, you know, looks fine. So that's season one. Here is season two for the Sarah Connor uh, Chronicles. So I'll get to the rankings right after this. I'll rank all the movies. Here's the special features. So exclusive on Blu-ray. Oh, so I believe there are. Uh, I can't remember what the first season, if it's like that. I think it's mostly this one. All right, and then this is in like a slip case that comes out the side. It's the back, and then here is the front. And you do get your guide. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's the first disc. There is two and three. There's four, and here is five. He, I forget his name, but I've seen him in a bunch of stuff. So yeah, the cast, you know, does uh, change kind of bit. You do get some other characters that do appear, other uh, actors and actresses. Like, hey, I recognize them. Yeah, so that is season two. And yeah, it just kind of um, ends, you know, series is done, and then I guess it just never got a, a third season. So here is the Steel Case Edition, which is from Best Buy. This was an exclusive uh, right here. And I actually found this secondhand for a pretty good price. Uh, it actually has like a dent right here, but it's okay. You know, use secondhand. No big deal. <clears throat> Excuse me, burping there. And then here's the back of it. Looks nice. There, it's in front of you. See Lena Headley ready to go. All right. And that looks like the exact same weapon that she had uh, Sarah Connor in uh, T2 at the end, with the, where you have the, the shells on the top, the shotgun. Yeah, that's cool. So there you have the case. Yeah, it is tin. So this version might be much harder to find. I just happened to randomly find it at a. Where was it at? It was a half price books. That was a little further out. Then I came back to the local one, the one that's closer, to get the first season. And yeah. First disc. So all of them are the same. Uh, no difference. If you find the tin, the uh, tin case version uh, compared to the regular one. It's just the same thing. Just that the uh, casing is different. So yeah, it makes a little more... A little more special. All right. So the Sarah Connor Chronicles. I think overall this show was all right. Um, it 
definitely could have been a lot better. Especially with uh, the concept. I mean, the concept is fine. That that It definitely sounds cool. Uh, you know, I think on paper and stuff. But yeah, it can be hit or miss. Uh, the story does kind of, you know, go back and forth. You have some plot lines that aren't resolved. Uh, yeah, I want to say this is actually canceled the more I think about it. Uh, but uh, I think the actors and actresses did, you know, a fine job for what they had. Lena Headley as Sarah Connor I thought was cool. Uh, you know, you have John here. He was all right. You have the Terminator right there. She was good. And, uh, yeah, you know, villains are all right. You know, different kinds of heroes step in. And, uh, yeah, the time travel effect, that was cool. The Terminators look pretty good. I uh, thought the practical stuff was great. The CG ones look all right. I, it, it has aged quite a bit, <laughs> as with the older films, too. You know, that just comes with the territory. Uh, but I think overall, uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles, yeah, it definitely could have been a lot better. Uh, but for what we got, you know, it's okay. I'm wondering if we're ever going to get another Terminator show. Because I believe this is the only one. I don't think there was another live action show after this. Or even before this. So, yeah. Uh, luckily, let's see. I think you can still get these. Now, all of these I found used. All of them. The first season, the second season, even the, the DVD steelbook and the uh, the Best Buy steelbook was secondhand. So they might still be in print. DVD-wise, you can get both uh, for really cheap. And uh, yeah, so looking for these, just kind of be on the lookout, but, but definitely watch for pricing. All right, so now we are going to rank all of the movies. And okay, so... Let me get an addition for each one, and then we'll talk about it in a second. Okay, so make sure I got my rankings right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, and then, all right, yeah, make sure I got it right. Okay. All right, so we'll start from the bottom. Um, let's go with, uh, so we have six. So V out of six movies. So we'll go ahead and start with uh, Dark Fate. Now, this movie is fine. It, you know, it's it's cool watch and stuff. I think the main thing with this is the, new, the, uh, the take that they went with as far as script-wise. Uh, but... Can it work? I think it can. I'm just wondering if we are going to get another one because I, I want to say it made its money back. I think. Uh, I want to say it did fairly well when it was in uh, theaters and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's not that Dark Fate is terrible. It's just that there, there's just some things where, okay, so this is what you're going with. Can you make this work? And there were some things in here where this is, okay, yeah, there's some lines that were kind of awkward uh especially sarah connor they have her saying linda hamilton they have her saying some things where it's like wait what <laughs> the enhanced uh guardian she says some things too where no it's not about this it's about that it's like oh, oh okay uh and you could definitely tell there was some kind of agenda possibly and yeah uh but it makes you wonder it, are they going to continue with this and if they are you know i would like to see it just to see it. uh but i'm not sure if they are uh you know it's just up in the air as to whether they will or not and uh yeah but it, overall i don't think this is a terrible film i think it's you know it's okay it's cool to watch pop in have a good time and uh it's just story wise you know what are they going to do with it so interesting to see because you know arnold you know, getting older. Uh, he's great in here. <laughs> he is funny. Uh, he plays a guy named Carl. Uh, is he a Terminator? Yes, but he's he's actually pretty funny. Like he even says it. Uh, she thinks I'm pretty funny. <laughs> you know, uh, it was great to see him in here. Um, him and Linda Hamilton, really, really good to see Edward Furlong. Now that was that was intriguing because I don't know if he did a single thing in this. Because the beginning part, you see CG versions of them. So it's really weird. Now, did it look good? It looked awesome. 
like DH versions of them. Oh, I'm going to set this down. Yeah, I'm going to talk about it. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's just wondering what are they going to do? Um, so, yeah, but Dark Fate. So that's number six. Not that it's bad. It's just it's a question as, okay, with the decisions that they did in here, what are they going to do next? Especially with what happens to John. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. All right. So let's go with uh, number five, which will be, uh, let's see. Because it took me a while to think <laughs> after uh, I did re-watch re them all just to kind of get, you know, more of a feel and to think uh, more of it, more about it. Uh, here is Rise of the Machines. This one was uh, pretty good, too. Uh, they all are in different ways, you know, and do, do they all have their faults? Yes, they do. Some more than others. Uh, you know, that just comes with the territory, especially when you got a long running series of films. Uh, so Rise of the Machines. This one, definitely, um, you can tell it's not Cameron. Uh, as far as I know, I don't think he even has a story credit with this because I think he just did the first two and then that was it. Uh, I think he has a story credit for Dark Fate. Genesis, I don't think he directed. I think he helped write, um, if I remember correctly. Yeah, because I'm trying to remember everything uh, offhand. Um, but uh, yeah, Rise of the Machines was interesting. I thought it was it was cool to see Arnold back and stuff. Uh, they did do something. There is a cool scene where he has like a, um, they go to like this, uh, uh, where is it at? It's a, it's a big scene, um, like a, they're at like a graveyard and stuff and they pull the coffin from uh sarah connor and what's in it a bunch of weapons <laughs> as if she knew something was gonna happen uh you know there's a famous scene with that it's almost like the minigun scene except it's not a minigun it's different it's like a big just regular kind of a like chain chain gun um that scene was good it does have another big chase uh pretty much in that they tend to recycle a lot of stuff. Uh, you have, you know, exposition in like a moving vehicle somewhere, pretty much, whether they're driving or they're being driven. <laughs> you have the, uh, this would get pretty much start the thing or continue where Arnold beats the main, the main threat, uh, which he does in Genesis, he does in Dark Fate. Yeah, it's kind of a thing once he became like, you know, the good guy. Uh, but is he good? He's really good. The, T the TX is also really good. I thought that was an interesting look at a different kind of Terminator. You know, it has built-in weaponry. That was cool. Uh, it does have, like, the liquid. It can change, uh, I believe, look and stuff. And, yeah, um, they, there is some goofy kind of bits in here that maybe kind of go, wait, wait, what? <laughs> so this film definitely has a different feel, uh, especially when you're coming off how deep and dark D, uh, T1 and T2 were, because T2 just got even darker, uh, and, you know, and up the ante with the action and stuff. So, yeah, uh, definitely kind of more of a lighthearted feel in a way, although there are some serious moments. Uh, but I think Terminator 3 is uh, cool. Uh, but, yeah, that's my uh, number five. And the twist with this, with, uh, you know, are they really trying to stop Judgment Day? And then you find out what it really is. I thought that was interesting. I thought that was a cool uh, different take. So, yeah. All right. Next up. For number four, we have Genesis. Okay. So, Genesis was the big uh, reboot uh, pretty much for the series. Um, this was everywhere when it came out. It was promotion was all over the place. I mean, I, mean, I saw it everywhere. <laughs> but uh, now I did not see the, the main trailer or teaser for this because uh, I think the big reveal was given away. I don't think it was in the teaser. I think it was in the first main trailer or second one. It really threw a bunch of people off. Uh, when that when that reveal came out it was like if you see the character and you're just like wait, wait a second wait you just gave that away like why'd you do that i think that really didn't help um also 
Now, as far as the reboot itself, I think the reboot is all right. But yeah, it definitely did a lot of different things in here. You have, you know, going back to T1, you have uh, pretty much redoing the first scene where the turner first walks up, you know, uh, uh, what was it, laundry day? <laughs> uh, you know, nice night for a walk. Uh, that was cool. The CG Arnold for that, I think they just got a... Um, I don't know, it was like a stunt double or someone who kind of looked like him to do the motion capture. Because I'm not sure if it was him. Um, but uh, I thought that was all right. The new villain right here in the middle. And yes, you do have the T-1000 that does show up also. And he is in a cop uniform too. Uh, <laughs> Kyle Reese uh, doing the whole thing where, you know, where he gets the shoes, the sneakers. I believe they were like Nikes and stuff. Or were they Reebok? Adida, I can't go and remember. Uh, leave... Yeah, let me know. <laughs> uh, and then Sarah Connor, you know, saying that the, you know, the timeline that he was trying to get to no longer is, exist. And yeah, it, it definitely did a lot of things at once. So and then you have the big thing with uh, Genesis, which is this new program that once it uh, is active, everything will be connected to it. So I believe all the phones laptops uh, they, uh uh you know uh tablets like all programming i believe will be connected to genesis so you do have that and i believe that was uh dyson i think that was dyson in the film that did that i think it was like his uh son or like a different version of him um but uh yeah if i'm here correctly i believe that's who that was so that was cool that was different um and uh yeah genesis i think overall is okay uh just yeah there's just some there's a lot of things in here where you got to try and tie it together uh you know and does it work it's kind of off and on definitely off and on uh yeah all the films are okay in different ways and then all of them have you know their faults this one definitely with the script i thought action was cool though uh i do like the new look of the uh we got some more future war stuff that was cool to see uh, you get to see John as a leader. He's got like, uh, I believe, like big scars on his face. Uh, like, you know, you get to see him leading the resistance. Uh, more kind of more futuristic kind of looking uh, the way the the machines looked and everything. Uh, kind of more slick looking, but it was awesome. The bits that we got with that, and uh, yeah, so Terminator Genesis uh, number four. All right, so now on to number three. We have Salvation. All right, so Salvation. So this is literally the future war as a film. Uh, not, nothing with uh, going back in time or anything like that. There's uh, This is a whole new uh, thing that they came out with, and it was awesome. This was definitely a really good take. Uh, and a different one for the Terminator series. Because uh, you had, you know, the first three uh, came out and did their thing. And then, you know, it was like, okay, are we going to get the future war in some kind of way? And we did. Um, and so far, this is pretty much the only one to do that. As far as like a straight future war film. Uh, Dark Fate, you do get some scenes also, Genesis, you get a little bit. It's mostly been in fragments. The first movie, I think, shows... I think T1 and T2, I think, show the most of the future wars. Uh, I think along with Genesis, too. Uh, yeah, I would say probably the first what the first two do show a lot more. Uh, but this was cool. And it's not that far into the future where we have, like, lasers and stuff. It's mostly, you still get, like, bullets and rockets. And stuff like that. Because uh, eventually, like, if you're going off of, what was it, T1 and T2, they have, like, pulse uh, lasers <laughs> and stuff. Or plasma rifles, sorry. And, uh, yeah. So, Salvation with Christian Bale. I thought this was cool. Definitely, definitely different. We'll love to see more of the future war in, like, a different version, like another newer film. That would be cool. We just haven't gotten that. There's not, um, you do get parts of it in, uh, Sarah Connor Chronicles, the TV show as well. Uh, you know, you have, uh, Sam Worthington, who's like the guy who wakes up 
in this future war while it's happening, you know, all the machines have taken over or, or machines have taken over, you know, and the war is going on and he's trying to figure out what the heck is happening. And you find out exactly who or what he is. And that was a cool twist. Uh, I thought, um, do they do much with it? They do. There are some things with the kind of like the writing where it's kind of like, uh, okay. Do you see the, uh, you actually get to see the T-800 in here, which is actually really cool. Because uh, I believe this is before it gets rolled out. Um, and yeah, it's it's like before that version comes out, you do get to see other different Terminators. There's some that are like motorcycles. You have like another giant one. Uh, you have like a carrier type that carries like all the captured humans and brings them to base. Uh, you have like turret ones. So you have like, I believe like little flying ones as well. So yeah, you get a nice variety of different ones, including the, you know, the big T-800. So you do see a CG Arnold. <laughs> uh, this one, he looks okay. He looks all right. Uh, but I think they did, they definitely kind of got better with it when they showed him in, uh, Genesis. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really enjoyed this one. Um, yeah, definitely want to see more of this, more of the Future War stuff as an actual film. Uh, cause I think what they did was awesome. Really, really cool. All right. So now we're up to the top two, uh, favorites or, uh, for the rankings list. So first up we have... The original. Number two. Now, this is just my personal list. I mean, it it's not, like, definitive. You know, I just thought it'd be fun to do, like, a little ranking. Uh, especially after re-watching them. Because uh, you definitely see more things. It's like, oh, I didn't notice that. You know, appreciate them more. And, uh, yeah. Uh, so, the original Terminator film. Awesome, awesome movie. Still to this day. Arnold as a Terminator is very intimidating. When he first shows up, you know, nice night for a walk, and he takes out those guys. I believe one of them was played by Bill Paxton, <laughs> uh, and uh, you know, uh, or Hudson from Term from Aliens. You know, he's no longer with us, but uh, uh, you know, may he rest in peace. He was cool. Uh, the cast in here is really great. You also have Bishop in here from Aliens. Also, uh, I believe it's a uh, yeah, Lance uh, Hendrickson. He's in here. Uh, Linda Hamilton as uh, Sarah Connor was really great. And Michael Bean as Kyle Reese, really, really good. Their chemistry when they meet up is awesome. And his lines were so good. Uh, you know, he just, it just won't stop. <laughs> that is so iconic. You know, it will not stop. And that, it is true. It did it. <laughs> uh, you know, there are times where it had to repair itself. You know, that famous scene in uh, the mirror where it has to take out the, uh, you know, the eye over the mechanical eye. Uh, that was pretty cool. You know, the practical work. Does it look kind of weird now? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, but still, the effort that went into that. And the endoskeleton. Now, I believe that was an actual animatronic that they had. And like when you get to see it walk and move at the end. It is great. Get to see the eye kind of expand and then close. It is really really good you do have some stop motion work as well which is also awesome uh so practical work is great uh the effects as far as like you know special i guess like cg ones for that time were good um and action is very very good it's pretty much one big chase scene but is you get a lot of great drama mystery as to what the heck is happening where did this thing come from and of course you find out about kyle reese you know, he shows up in like a, you know, like a bubble pretty much. Uh, oh, sorry about that. And, or he pretty much disappears and the Terminator also appears and you, you know, you know, you find out they're from the future and stuff. And, you know, he's trying to save Sarah because her son ends up being the leader of the resistance, you know, trying to make sure that he is born. Uh, I believe it's his, her son, John, who sent him back. So to protect her. And, uh, yeah, their battle with Arnold is really, really good. So, yeah, the original film, this is still an awesome movie. Definitely check this out. Check out all of them. Uh, even the TV show, you know, see what you guys think. And, uh, yeah, the original film, really good. So now we are on to number one, T2. 
All right, so T2, oh boy, uh, great, great film, still holds up to this day. Uh, you have uh, Arnold coming back. You do see like another older John in the future. He has like a bunch of scars on his face. Uh, so they kind of did that, uh, like a tribute to that in uh, Genesis, which is really cool when you see him all older and stuff and leading the resistance. Uh, so you do get more of the future war. Really, really good. You get to see like a few T-800s. One of them's like dual wielding uh, plaza rifles. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, the You get to see an explosion in here. Like a, I believe it was a nuclear explosion. And it's when Sarah, it's like at a playground. She's got her hands on the fence. And then the, the you know, the blast just hits her. You see a skeleton. That was really, really dark. You get to see her. Like in the aftermath of T1 in like an asylum. And then there's a really great scene when Arnold and John show up to break her out in the T1000 battle. The first battle between Arnold and the T1000. And, you know, he pulls out like a, what was it, a shotgun out of like a, a box of flowers. That was cool. <laughs> and they just battle out in a mall. <laughs> uh, John's friend is that one kid from uh, Salute Your Shorts with the red hair. I can't remember his darn name, <laughs> but he was really good. Uh, the whole cast in here, Vasquez is in here. You also have a, uh, I believe it's a doctor guy from T1. He reappears. He is like the one who leads the, uh, I believe he runs the asylum. He's like the lead doctor who talks to Sarah, you know, and as she's just discussing what happened in T1 and stuff. And, you know, you get some really, really good work from the cast, actors and actresses. The music is awesome. Very, very good. T1 had that real good soundtrack. This just ups it, makes it even better action even better as well uh you have great practical work cg work everything is just up the ante uh you know they just they just they just upped everything and it's very very good uh still holds up to this day now there are three editions so it's the extended yeah i want to say it's extended special and theatrical now there are there is a scene where um they have to they have to reboot Arnold, I think. So they actually take the chip out and then reinsert it. But when they take it out, he doesn't move. So it's not like he can do it himself. So, cause I believe it's, it's his learning computer. Cause he describes it. He says that it was turned off and like, it, it's not on uh, the setting to, uh, you know, be able to learn. So they take it out and then they put it back in and the practical work on that is amazing. But it's not in the theatrical version, the one that uh, I believe I grew up watching. Uh, but I didn't see that till I got this version, and it is very, very good. Really cool. So you have some more scenes. Um, you have that scene. You have, um, I think, more dialogue stuff, like more extended kind of things. And uh, Dan's Dan, hello. Hey, how's it going? Uh, and yeah, it was just very, very good. Uh the the T one thousand is awesome, the liquid uh, Menda or what do you say that uh, Arnold said uh, liquid metal, um, and you know it creates like blades. He takes different forms. You know he can copy people's bodies. Uh, there's one where he pretty much infiltrates John Connor's family. <laughs> oh, I loved your Dragon Ball Z video. Oh, thank you. Um, there's gonna be something else with Dragon Ball. Excuse me, in general, so stay in tune. I'm going to have an announcement for that. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so uh, T2, what else is there to say? Music's great. Story is awesome. You get to see Dyson, who is pretty much the creator of Skynet. So you get to meet the guy who created Skynet. That was cool, especially coming off of uh, T1. Heck, yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be doing one more live stream before the end of the year. And uh, I'll do an announcement as to what that is. But will it contain, will it be about DBZ? Stay tuned. Or Dragon Ball, just stay tuned. Uh, or maybe it'll be about, no, 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 we'll go with that. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, Schwarzenegger is great. Linda Hamilton. Uh, the actor for um, T-1000, what's his name? Uh, loved your videos and I'm glad I got to talk to you. Hey, no problem. Yeah, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, really cool. 
Uh, it is. Oh, I can't. From I can't remember his name. Uh, hats off to that actor uh, playing the T one thousand. Just had that real stoic look uh, when he ran. He had that run. <laughs> Uh, you know, driving in the truck, trying to run over John Connor. <laughs> that was great. And I uh, like when he waved his finger at Sarah Connor like this at the end. That was cool. Uh, the ending to this is awesome. You have a great uh, battle scene. You have a really good chase uh, with this real big truck. You have one with a helicopter. You have uh, uh, Arnold Emmer in like a smaller truck up against like a semi. <laughs> you also have the last battle is in like a um it's in like a factory and you have like the um the, not lava but like the magma pretty much and uh z-man sorry i'm late oh no problem no problem man uh yeah good to see you um and that was really good especially with what they did uh you know they did some tricks with the t-1000 uh arnold gets messed up at the end, uh, you know, loses an arm. Uh, Dan said, have you watched The Lucky Star? Oh, I have. Yeah. Just not for a long time. I thought it was really good, though. I was funny as heck. <laughs> uh, so that battle was really good. Um, and, yeah, just T2, just... Re the I still tear up at the end. I love it. Yeah, it's a really good series. Uh, yeah, I tear up at the end of T2 still. Um, no joke. That's how impactful that was. You know, John's like, you know, they have so many scenes with him and John just trying to, John's trying to talk to him, you know, get him to teach him like, no, you can't go around hurting people. You got, and he doesn't, or well, he hurts them, but he doesn't, he doesn't like kill them, <laughs> but it's like he was about to. So he was literally sent back from John to obey John or protect Sarah or pretty much like protect himself. And he obeys him. He listens to him. That chemistry is very, very good. You know, uh, you can't go around hurting people. Uh, uh, you know, uh, Sarah's friend, they go to somebody for help. And, you know, he's asking, who's this guy? John's like, this is my Uncle Bob. <laughs> Uncle Bob. Uh, what is my favorite movie? T2 is one of them. <laughs> uh, I might do a favorite movies live stream. I'm not sure. I am thinking about it. I got a lot of different ideas, especially, uh, you know, especially since it's the end of the year, I'm trying to figure what to start out with uh, next year. So, yeah, uh, this is definitely one of them. T2 is up there. Uh, I might do like a favorite movies just listing, not like a top 10, but just like, you know, after this, I want to watch the MCU movie collection. Oh, yeah, feel free. Other than T2. Oh, man. I'll have to get into that later, man. <laughs> Yeah, check out the MCU collection, uh, Dan's Den. Yeah, really cool. Got a lot of different stuff. Um, and then, uh, yeah, T2, just amazing. The thumbs up at the end. As I was saying, I still tear up during that, you know, as it, as it goes, you know, like this into the, you know, the magma and stuff. Uh, still love the original. Yeah, the original is really good. Um, and, yeah. Just tear up. Love the MCU. Definitely. MCU is good. And yeah. So that does it for my movie rankings. For the Terminator franchise. Are you ready for the Loki? Oh yeah. The Loki series. Definitely. Cannot wait to check that out. Alright. So I will put them in order. Right here. I might not be able to fit all of them. Uh, let's go with, uh, is this the end of the stream? Yes. <laughs> uh, well, kind of, uh, if you want to ask a question, go ahead. Um, about the Terminator franchise in general. Yeah. Let me know. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and answer. Uh, oh, Dan said no. Okay. I won't. <laughs> uh, yeah. So go ahead and feel free, you know, leave a question. And uh, I'll go ahead and answer it. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead and ask a question. I think I'll do this towards the end of uh, every stream. Just kind of, you know, have like a kind of mini Q&A here. Uh, let's, put, uh, let's put this here. What is your favorite scene from the Terminator franchise? Ooh, that's a tough one. Uh, let's see. I'll just put these right here. 
yeah, I can't quite fit. All of them I'll have to scoop back, but I don't really want to move anything. Uh, the favorite scene. Oh, does it have to be Terminator? Um, not really, but it, it kind of pertains to the stream. That's all. <laughs> uh, but if you want to ask something different, go ahead. Uh, let's see. Favorite scene from the Terminator franchise. Oh, boy. I'm chatting on my iPad, and yes, <laughs> I know. Uh, oh, man. This is tough. Uh, do you watch Transformers? Yes, I do. Watch Transformers. Love it. Uh, favorite scene from the Terminator franchise? I know it's, Arnold didn't hurt anybody, but I love the minigun scene <laughs> for T2. Uh, that was great. The reveal? Okay. So, um... Yeah, that's one of my favorites. Uh, T1, I do like the when you get to see the endoskeleton moving around uh, without the skin on it. I thought that was cool. Uh, Michael Bay films, all good. Instead of Transformers 2, it was okay. Yeah, the second Transformers film was kind of weird. Coming off the first one, it definitely had like kind of a different tone. It was really, really odd. Yeah, uh, that's a good scene. I love the nightclub. Yes, the nightclub attack. Yes, that was really good. Uh, from the first film. Uh, let's see. From T3, I do like the t the, uh, the TX. Uh, that, that was really good. I had a weird dirty joke. See. Oh, dirty. Yeah, the I think that's what did it was the comedy, man. The comedy was really weird. Yeah, they had dirty joke. Yeah, that, that was awkward as all. Well. <laughs> really, really weird. Uh, let's see. And yeah, the TX was cool. I like the, how it had its own weaponry salvation. I do like the different turn airs that we got. Um, let's see. Uh, I'll just talk about each one. And then, so that's those four Genesis. I do like the new turn air that they introduced. I thought that was great. I saw T3 and I didn't hate it. Yeah. T3 is fine. T3 is cool. Uh, I do like that, the new turn air that they introduced in this one. Uh, that, that was pretty cool. Uh, for Dark Fate, I like the, um, the the last battle was cool. I do like that airplane scene. I thought that was that was pretty good. The first chase scene is all right, but I really like the, the airplane scene. Uh, I do like when Sarah appears, you know, I'll be back. She gets to say that line. <laughs> and Arnold was funny. I really do like Arnold in this. It was really, really good. All right. So, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and get ready to end it here. Transformers 3, I'm glad it didn't have much of the... Yeah, I think because of the bash, it didn't... Um, I think they, they, they were even told, like, yeah, you need to cut down on that. Uh, oh, I like the factory scene. Yeah, the factory scene's good, too. Uh I like the one at the end of Dark Fate, you know, where they're in, they're in, it has like that spinning, uh, that spinning thing. It, where was that? The dam? Yeah, they're at like a dam. Yes, we can hear. Hello, like factory scene too. Hey, EXP. Yeah, the factory scene was really good. And uh, yeah, so with that, I think I'm going to pretty much, I think I'm pretty much just going to stop here. Uh, and uh, yeah, so the next live stream I will be doing. Uh, the Terminator kill line is beautiful. Terminator. Oh yeah, that was good too. And I will be doing an announcement for the final stream of this year. Yeah, it's going to be anime and manga related. I did give kind of a hint to it earlier. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching, for your guys' questions. And uh, yeah, it looks like it's been almost, dang, almost an hour and 50 minutes. <laughs> But uh, this is really, really fun. Yeah, yes. Thank you, Dan's, uh, Dan, uh, for the question. Z-Man for stopping by. War Effect, EXP. Just anybody who stopped by. Uh, where is the James Bond license? Oh, I'm going to do that. I'm going to ha have a, a plan for that. Um, it'll probably be towards the beginning of next year uh, because uh, the next one will be actually next year uh, during the first week of January. So uh, I'm... I'm kind of thinking between either James Bond or 
maybe Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, possibly. I'm kind of tossing up different ones. Uh, so, yeah, because one after the next one will be part of next year. So stay tuned for that. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And uh, with that, I'll see you guys next time. And feel free to let me know uh, your guys' list. What do you guys think? I, I'm sorry, I've been asking a lot of questions. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Dan Zen. Yeah, don't worry. It's cool. Uh, feel free to leave your guys' list as to if you guys want to rank all the Terminator films. Uh, I, I'd be happy to see your guys' list. And uh, also, what do you guys think of uh, you know the TV show as well? But uh, yeah, these are just my personal rankings. But uh, yeah, I reviewed the first two Terminator movies. Oh yeah, awesome. Really good. Uh, so yeah, feel free to leave a list as to how you guys rank them. I'd be interested in seeing on a different channel. Oh, okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, so with that, I'll see you guys next time.